Hi, I'm Jennifer Palmer. I'm a discipline leader in unmanned aircraft systems at DST. The program I lead is on the use of small autonomous aircraft, drones as they're often called, for missions in urban environments. We're building smart into drones to keep soldiers and first responders out of harm's way. For example, if there were a chemical release in a city, we could send in a team of drones to do a coordinated search for its source and to assess the threat. They could then bring the information back to human operators who could make informed decisions about how to treat the threat. In the indoor flight laboratory at Fisherman's Bend, we fly our drones on a daily basis, testing sensor and flight control techniques, as well as preparing for outdoor trials. The motion tracking cameras you see on the walls allow us to track the experiments. We can get ground truth information about where the UAV is flying throughout an experiment, and we can also use the system to control our vehicles and to create a geofence so we don't run into the walls or ceiling. The project leverages flight control and navigation techniques being developed in the wider robotics community and combines them with sensors, meaning the strict power, weight, and size demands of very small aircraft. The aircraft we envision using in urban environments will be no larger than those typically sold to hobbyists. The difference will be in the onboard intelligence and sensors that will allow our systems to operate in very challenging conditions, such as in darkness with variable lighting, or in smoke, or in the highly turbulent conditions often encountered in the urban environment. We also know we'll have no clear lines of sight for radio control. These systems will have to be able to operate largely independent of their controllers largely autonomously. The program is of value to Australia's defence and national security because we aim to develop unique capabilities not available in current commercial products. It's also dual-use technology, meaning it's equally useful to military as well as civilian authorities. It's a three-year program during which we'll be flying a number of trials both in Australia and overseas with our international partners in Canada, New Zealand, the US, UK and Singapore. The wide variety of expertise needed to conduct the project is one of its challenges, but it's also one of the best parts for me because I've been able to enlist the expertise of people across DST who bring in knowledge on RF communications and novel sensors. My team also extends to a number of universities and a range of international partnerships. With the start of the Next Generation Technology Fund, we'll have greater involvement from industrial partners and that will no doubt see spin-offs of the various technologies into products that can be used by the ADF.